Okay, so the rule we're going to go by with asymmetrical addition reactions is called Makarnikov's rule. Or, uh, in other words, a short form for it is the rich get richer. So what this means is that um, essentially the carbon that already has more hydrogens in comparison to the two, like when you're breaking a double bond, right, it's always between two carbons. So when you're looking at them, you're going to say, well, which of the carbons has more hydrogens compared to each other? The one that has more hydrogen atoms will get an additional hydrogen atom. If you notice, whether you're doing hydrohalogenation or hydration, the hydrogen is going to go to the carbon with more hydrogens. The other atom, or mol, um, ion in this case, or group of atoms, so we'll go to the carbon with the least amount of hydrogen atoms. Now, if they have the same amount of hydrogen atoms, then it doesn't matter who you give what to. Uh, they'll be basically uh, equivalent. So let's take a look. So here we have uh, three different reactions. In this one, we're doing hydrohalogenation. So remember that the hydrogen goes to the carbon with more hydrogens. So in this case, we have a double bond that's breaking that have the same amount of hydrogen atoms. So what that means is when you break this, it doesn't matter who you give what to, you give one carbon the hydrogen and one the chlorine, okay? So it doesn't matter which way you go on that. Same deal here. So we have a double bond, this is gonna break. Remember that this is saturated with hydrogen atoms that we don't really see in the skeleton. However, the hydrogen will go to one and the bromine to the other. But in this particular case, we have a double bond and there is an unequal amount of hydrogens. The center high carbon has one hydrogen and the carbon on the end has two. So what that means is the hydrogen will actually go to the carbon that has more hydrogens and the chlorine will go on to the other one or whatever the halogen happens to be. So you always wanna check when you're breaking the bonds for hydrohalogenation to make sure the hydrogen goes to the carbon with more hydrogens. Hydration works exactly the same way. When you add water across a double or a triple bond, you're breaking that bond. The hydrogen will go to the carbon with more hydrogens and the OH group will go onto the carbon with the lesser amount of hydrogens. And actually this is how you make an alcohol functional group. So an alcohol functional group is the OH uh, part of this molecule. So we're gonna learn about alcohols a little bit later on in this chapter, but just to kind of give you an idea, so propene plus water gives us two hydroxy. So the hydroxy branch is the OH group or an alcohol naming has the suffix OL. So two propanol means that the OH group is coming off of carbon number two here. So don't worry so much about the naming. Obviously, we're going to go through alcohol naming in the lesson that is associated with that. But I just like to preview the different types of reactions and the naming as we go along. 